I recently covered Target Baby Holy Grails and Fails, and being that I have a toddler and preschoolers, it's only fitting I cover the Holy Grails that I buy for them as well. But before we get into it, I have to shamelessly plug my channel. Please like and subscribe if you have not already, and if you are a current subscriber, thank you so much. I really do appreciate you guys. Also, go follow me on Instagram. I don't post much, but at least when I do post, you know I really wanted to share. The first Holy Grail we'll go over are the toddler clothes at Target. The thing I shop the most are the tables up front. They have the best pull-on jeans and pants for boys on these tables from nine to $12, which I know that's not the cheapest price for toddler pants, but for the quality, it's the best value. My boys like their Cat and Jack pants the most because they're the softest, stretchiest pants we have. When my twins were three and potty trained, they could pull up these pants no problem and there's no button to fuss with. The joggers have reinforced knees for durability and they are just the best toddler pants in the $9 to $12 price range. They also have sweatpant joggers for boys under $6 that we like as well. For girls on the tables, they have leggings for $5 and tops to go with it between $4 to $5.50. Then their girls' jeans are $10 and even better, jeggings are $7. Then if your child wants to step it up or you got family photos, there are a ton of outfit options and separates that range between 10 to $20 depending on the item. I got these nice button ups for my boys for our recent family photos. They just wore their pull up jeans with these shirts for $13. Then we had them all wear matching Cat and Jack shoes that look like lace ups, but they have a zipper on the side to make it easy. They have tons of toddler girl dresses. Basic dresses are under $10, but for $15, I think these are all super cute, especially these stripe and polka dot tool ones. To accessorize, I thought all of these little backpacks in the toddler area were really cool and they were all $16, even the really intricate blinged out ones. Another accessory that's not really an accessory, but your child will feel like it's an accessory because they have a lot of fun prints and designs are undies now that your little one might be potty trained. Target has fun character underwear to make potty training more fun and it's motivation for your toddler to not wet their pants because they don't want to get Elsa or whatever character they love all dirty. For PJs, they have two packs between $15 to $20, from warm fleece footies to four-piece sets that come with two pants and two tops. When my twins were little, they used to wear a combo similar to this that was at Batman and Superman, and it was their favorite pajama set. They would wear them whenever they were clean until they both decided one day that they both needed to be Batman, and it caused a lot of anger and strife in our house. But if you don't have twins that wanna fight over everything, these are really good jammy sets. Since we're talking jammies, let's move to nighttime items. Your toddler may start to get scared at night or be scared of the dark. It's normal and giving them a comfort item or security blanket can help them feel safe. My boys have these large Cloud Island security blankets or loveys is what we call them, and they are obsessed with them to the point that we have backups for our backups in case we ever have multiple in the wash at the same time. They sleep with them every single night and we are also sure to bring them with us if we ever travel anywhere because it helps them adjust to any new setting and sleep better at night when we're away from home. But overall, once we let our boys sleep with these every single night, it gave us more consistent sleep because it was easier for them to soothe themselves back to sleep if they ever did wake up. Once your baby is no longer a baby, you may need to start thinking about transitioning them to a big kid bed. We recently moved my two-year-old and my twins to twin size big kid beds and the transition was actually quite easy and they love their new beds. We went to the kids bedding section at Target and got them all fun twin size sheet sets and comforter sets and they were all so excited when they saw all the things and characters they loved all over their new beds. And now that they're big boys and they don't have their waterproof crib mattress, they have a regular memory foam twin size bed, we were sure to get waterproof mattress protector 
factors. We didn't spend a bunch of money on new mattresses only to have it soaked in pee the first month. So I suggest you get a waterproof cover as well if you upgrade mattresses. Even if your child has never had an accident in the middle of the night, the first time you don't have a waterproof mattress protector, stuff's gonna happen. Then just for fun, this area also has a ton of fun decor. Maybe someday I'll get to that with my kids' rooms that are pretty bare right now. But I thought I would share this for any of you who may be in decorating mode because they have a lot of neat options to have the perfect big kid room. For food, I like that they have a lot of organic and healthy items. They have toddler formula. I never personally use that myself. We just did whole milk when they turned one. But random item I wanted to share that is located right next to their toddler formula is Pedialyte. Pedialyte is going to be your best friend whenever your kid gets sick. For some reason, when my kids would get sick, they didn't want to drink fluids and obviously to get better, they need to stay hydrated. And these Pedialyte freezer pops were our saving grace when they were sick and just refusing to drink anything. They would down these freezer pops thinking it was real ice cream and then they would be hydrated and it would help them get better quicker. For toddler pouches, your toddler can survive with zero pouches, but sometimes it is nice for them to have an easy snack when you're out and about. When I need quick snack options at the park, these are my favorites because they are jam packed with nutrients. They are pricey though, so sometimes I just opt for the good and gather unsweetened applesauce pouches. They aren't as healthy, but they serve the same purpose as a quick snack on the go. I also love the good and gather yogurt pouches. They have have whole milk yogurt and reduced fat for a little cheaper. I like the Stonyfield brand too, but my Target is completely sold out of those right now. And I also get the Stonyfield Gogurt sticks that are sold out here. But I stick them in the freezer. My kids absolutely love them. We call it ice cream in our house, so they'll accept it as a dessert item or it's a good item to throw frozen in the diaper bag. And by the time we get to them, they're thawed out and fresh. A way that I sneak greens into my kids because they won't just eat greens on their own, is I put them in smoothies. I get the good and gather frozen fruit and blend it with either water or milk, add some spinach, and put it all together in my Nutribullet. And then here are some other random favorites of my kids. I get so much food for them from Target because they carry a lot of brands and foods that I like for them. But let's move on because this isn't a grocery shop with me video, even though I started shopping here as I was filming this. When I present these delicious foods to my kids at home, Target is my holy grail place to buy all the feeding accessories like plates, cups, and all that. We use the take and toss cups and utensils from Target. I also like this non-spill snack cup from Munchkin. If you leave the baby section and meander your way to the kitchen area at Target, you can get the pillow fort plates that we love there. They are just 99 cents a piece, and right next to it, they have a ton of water bottles and canteens for kids. I may bring my kids here soon so that they can can pick out their own like little water bottle or canteen because I think it would be nice to have something before we go travel all over throughout throughout this holiday season. So comment below what brands your families have had the best experience with for water bottles or canteens and then definitely comment below if there's any you regret buying so that I don't waste my money and hopefully I can guide my kids away from the not so good brands and guide them towards the better brands. Then if your kids go to daycare or preschool and you have to pack their lunch daily. If you go over towards the sporting goods section, they have tons of fun lunchbox options. My boys have this Marvel or superhero themed one and it works great, but it's another fun thing for your child to pick out for themselves before they go to preschool or daycare for the first time. Now let's move to bathroom stuff. If you have a toddler on the younger side, chances are they are still in diapers. And for diapers, I am not a picky person at all. I have bought the up and up diapers from Target. They work well enough. If I'm at Walmart, I'll buy the Parents' Choice diapers. If I can stack tons of coupons, I'll get Huggies or Pampers. I buy pretty much whatever diapers are cheapest, as long as they are fragrance-free. Then for wipes, I, for the most part, buy the Target Up and Up fragrance-free wipes. I absolutely love them. I feel like I'm getting water wipes for a fraction of the price, and they are my holy grail wipes. They probably always will be, until I don't have any, any babies in diapers anymore, which I feel like is actually coming coming up quick, so. I'm getting a little sad about that, let's move on. Once you get really serious about the potty training thing and you wanna show your baby that they are no longer a baby, they don't need diapers, they get training pants now, 
Target also has training pants. And once again, I am not picky when it comes to training pants. From my experience, all the training pants are fragrance free, so I just buy whatever's cheapest. The only time I've ever really been picky about diapers is there was a period of time that my twins were in this phase that they would get really, really thirsty before bedtime. And obviously I'm not gonna tell them they can't drink before bed if they are thirsty. So they would chug a whole bunch of milk, water, whatever, and then they would consistently pee through any nighttime diaper I tried out on them and end up in a puddle in the morning. And it was a lot, it was not comfortable for them. It sucked for me because I was doing a lot of laundry. And I found that the Huggies Overnights diapers were consistently the best diapers for us in catching any leaks. And one of you guys actually told me about something I didn't even know existed, but it looks like an amazing item for any of you that have heavy peers in your household. But what are they called? Booster pads. And they're just an additional pad that you put into the diaper to just really make sure that no leaks happen overnight if you have a heavy producer. Then when you start toilet training, Target has toddler seats, step stools, mini potties, everything you need to assist. We use this mini potty in our home. We have one in the upstairs and one in the downstairs bathroom for our kids. Then we use a lidded potty similar to this one for road trips and day trips now so our kids don't have to use disgusting public restrooms. I just keep it in my car all the time. We line the little receptacle with a plastic baggie so that when people need to use the bathroom they can go then we seal up the little doggy doo-doo bag throw it away and we always have a clean potty in our car for our kids to use moving to toys target has endless options but right now my kids' favorite toys that they play with all the time are their big duplo lego blocks i believe these blocks are labeled safe for play starting at 18 months and up and my kids love them so much that i feel like I'm good to declutter a ton of the other toys around our house. Comment below what your kids' favorite toy is to play with right now. I'm planning on making some Christmas gift list videos for the month of November and December, so I'd love to know what some of your kids' favorite toys are to play with right now, and it could end up on a future gift list. Moving back to the baby and toddler area of the store, let's talk convertible car seats. Once your baby has outgrown their infant car seat, they will transition to a convertible car seat. Target it has a ton of options between the price range of $100 to $350. I've owned three different convertible car seats myself. One is by the brand Safety First. We spent only $99 on it. Then we have this one from Graco that retails for $139 and the Graco Sequence for $159. However, I want to note that Target often has car seats go on sale. Sometimes they'll have 20 to 25% off car seat deals in store. If you have the Target Circle app, sometimes you'll see random car seats pop up for sale on there. So if you don't have to pull the trigger right now and you have some time before you have to buy a car seat, I would definitely wait to see when they have a deal going on. For the car seats that I own, I prefer the Graco ones over the Safety First one because it's easier to install and the headrest and safety harness is just easier to adjust. And between the two models here that I have at the Target store, I like both of them pretty much equal equally, but the Graco sequence wins out just because having that second cup holder is so useful on long road trips. So I highly suggest getting a convertible car seat that has two cup holders if you can. Also want to note that this Graco sequence car seat is also really good if you need a narrower car seat. Some of the more expensive convertible car seats, you don't really realize it, but they are wider. And in my family, having three kids that are also little, we have to be able to fit three car seats across the center bench seat of my minivan. So even if I did want to spend 900 plus dollars to get three of the really fancy convertible car seats, it wouldn't have fit in my car because each one is so wide that it wouldn't have fit three across in my car. So if your family is set up like mine and you got a lot of car seats in your car, definitely consider getting the Graco sequence. And if that one's even too big, you can get an even slimmer one. It's the Graco Slim Fit car seat. Then this next thing is definitely optional, but it's something I've been looking at buying for my family, and that is a wagon to haul around all my kids and just the other crap that I carry around with me everywhere. Could we just use our stroller? Yes. 
and that is what we've been doing and we've been making everything work with just that but there's a lot of times that we're out and the terrain it, it would just be nice to have a wagon and depending on how the wagon folds down it might even take up less space in our car which would be nice because right now my double stroller takes up quite a lot of space in our back seat I expressed wanting a wagon to my husband not too long ago and bless his heart the next day he came home and presented me with this green metal utility wagon I tried to make it work but it, it's not meant to haul kids I looked on the website it's meant for farming gardening and outdoor jobs it's rough metal it's full of holes to make it somewhat comfortable for my kids to sit in we had to put down a cardboard piece on the bottom it's absolutely not easy to maneuver just for fun when we got it I decided to take a little stroll put my kids in it and I could barely move it I felt like I was gonna dislocate my shoulder then the biggest issue is it doesn't fold down so I can't bring it to parks with us it won't go in my minivan it was very thoughtful gesture from my husband he's a real thoughtful guy but he didn't put enough thought into this one <laughs> because I still want a foldable wagon that I can leave in my car and use for all the day trips and park outings that we go on as a family. So maybe, maybe that'll be my Christmas gift to myself. Let me know your number one holy grail item from Target for your toddler or preschooler if I didn't mention it in this video. I will have my toddler playlist floating somewhere on the screen right now. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check that out. Like, subscribe, share this video with one of your friends so we can all be friends, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!